what, what, what the ladies talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? A New York woman was arrested after it was discovered that she was using obituaries to pick out robbery targets. 26-year-old Latanya Stewart would allegedly read obituaries so she would know when the family of the deceased would be at the funeral. Once they left, she would break in, police said. Police investigating a string of robberies noticed the victims were listed as next of kin and funeral arrangements. According to the Journal News, detectives staked out the home of a recently deceased Greenboro resident. A car that matched the description of the suspect's car pulled up and police found stolen property from a February burglary. Stewart has been charged with conspiracy to commit burglary, a felony, and criminal possession of stolen property, a misdemeanor. Now, I know what you're thinking. That's crazy, man. That's wild. Crazy and wild, but not rare. Just in February, police arrested a man known as the Orbit Bandit who allegedly had broken into multiple homes while grieving residents were at funerals and wakes. Randy Brunel was previously found guilty in 2012 after breaking into the home of a police officer while he attended his mother's funeral. But that's nothing new. Amy Winehouse had her house broken into on the day of her funeral. And the guy that played Tony Soprano, he had his hotel room broken into on the day he died. I mean, no respect for the dead or the mourning. Man, these people are ruthless, man. But you got to really think about it, though. It, it is kind of clever. You know people are going to be out. If you're going to rob, you know they're going to be out of the house. First of all, you should not be robbed. You need to get a damn job, first and foremost. But if you're going to rob, that's smart as hell. But again, I, I can't stand those type of people, though. I can't stand robbers. I look forward to shooting a robber, killing him, you know? Really, I'm serious. Because somebody breaking into your house, man, it's hard to get that sense of security back. It's very hard. So your home is your castle. So anytime I hear about somebody breaking into somebody's house and they get shot, they get killed, I kind of toast to it. I don't care what, well, I don't give a damn who they are either. I just don't care. If you break into somebody's house and they shoot your ass dead, you deserved it. The person's house is their castle. The home is the castle, man. That's your sanctuary. If you don't feel safe anywhere else, you should feel safe at home. And when people break into your home, that's a major, major, major violation of your privacy and your security, your sense of security. So I have no love for home burglars. None at all. No love for home burglars. But anyway, to conclude this message, let's go back to Latanya. She seems like the type of chick on the first date who will ask you about your parents and grandparents' age and health. <laughs> it's a cold game, man. But I ain't really tripping on the cop who got robbed. He can take another loss. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?